I'm so happy that uh, Jim Henson was searching for uh, someone to play Big Bird and Oscar in the uh, August of 1969, because he had been booked by uh, the people who were creating a new show called Sesame Street, and but he didn't have enough puppeteers. He only had one other, who was Frank Oz, and uh, so he was searching for someone, and I found that out while I was going to give a show there in Salt Lake City, where the convention was that year, Puppeteers of America. Well, he liked what I was doing, and I got a job with him. And uh, I said, what will I be playing? He said, well, one is going to be a, a large, silly bird, and the other is going to be a, um, a grouch puppet who is uh, lives in a pile of trash. And, uh, well, it didn't quite turn out that way, but I, what was really neat is that Big Bird and Oscar are uh, quite different characters, although they do have one similarity, they they're all, they live alone. And, uh, well, they don't get along. Oscar doesn't respect Big Bird much. He calls him a turkey, which Big Bird resents that because he knows he's not a turkey. He, he likes to say that he's a giant golden condor, but, every, but he knows he's really just a lark. Oh, a little joke, I made it. And, uh, but it, the, they're really different from each other. And uh, Big Bird is sensitive and uh, uh, a uh, vulnerable little guy. I say he's little in that uh, he doesn't think of himself as a giant. He's eight feet two, which makes me the tallest character on television in history, I think. And uh, which I was really great, because uh, when I was a boy, I was the smallest kid in the class, sometimes in the whole school. and. Uh, uh, so I, I really have a, a great job there, and Oscar, Oscar is extremely irritable, and he's complex in that if he says something, if, if, it's, if he says it's rotten, uh, it's it's beautiful to him, and if he says it's beautiful, it's just so rotten that he thinks it's beautiful. And uh, but I, it's easy to switch from one to the other because the puppet kind of commands who you're playing. You just know it's so different to do. With Big Bird, I, I, I can see almost nothing. I have a little tiny uh, LED flashlight to light up the script inside because we have so much material each day that you couldn't possibly memorize it all. And, uh, and all the puppeteers read their stuff. They don't, nobody memorizes it. You have to kind of keep watching two things. You look, glance at the script, be familiar with it, so you don't have to just keep studying it. And, but I have to also dash my eyes back to the monitor I'm looking at, a little tiny monitor inside. So it's very different, to, you know you're in this place where you can't see anything and, uh, except for the little monitor. <laughs> Whereas Oscar, I'm, I'm outside, kind of hunched behind the trash can, reaching up in for a cutaway back. And, uh, you know, I, I worked one time with Michael Jackson, and he uh, he asked, he said, how do I get in the little trash can to do Oscar? Because it's such a small can, considering how uh, what my size was. It was easy. I could easily actually squeeze into it, but I didn't have to. I just, I told him I'd sit behind it and lean in and hold up the puppet. I said, would you like to come and see what it's like? It's, simple, it's, it's not high tech. And he said, oh no, uh, I love fantasy. I would like... I don't, I don't want to spoil it for me myself. Uh, so I'd like my whole life to be fantasy. And I thought that he had achieved that pretty well. And I'm sorry he had to leave, you know. I want to ask you uh, two more questions. One, um, about the puppet industry. You know, uh, you know I, f I feel like, uh, you know, there's been a lot of evolution and, and I, I, we don't see, like, I would love a Ninja Turtles movie the way they made it when I was, intro when I was introduced to the movie. Um, but I don't think they will ever do it like that. I don't know if they ever would. What are your thoughts on it? Well, I, 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 I made one feature movie. I've been in um, some little cameos in some of the other Muppet movies. But uh, the one feature movie I found out is very different uh, making uh, that movie than the uh, uh, working the TV show because we would actually get 40 minutes of material in the can every day. We, we worked so quick and simple in those days. And 
whereas the movie was much, we were lucky to get three or four minutes in the can of each day. So. I want to get your thoughts on the turtles, and the Ninja Turtles the turtle. movie. Turtle. I never saw the movie. Oh, no way. Although they're my friends. <laughs> I, I never saw a Ninja movie. So I don't know what they were like. So. Okay. How does it feel being involved with a groundbreaking show that directly affected not only mine, but so many children's lives? And how do you feel about the different cultural aspect of Sesame Street today, the direction they've gone? What does that mean to you? Well, uh, uh, we were sort of, in a sense, warned. It wasn't a warning, but when we started our show, we said it's going to, it's going to be an evolutionary show, which would change with the times. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, you know, of course, the times have changed. It's 40, we've done 45 years of it. And uh, if you start, if you think of the uh, 45 years, say, starting in 1900, in 1900 there were no airplanes or anything, but 1945 we'd finished the worst war the world had ever seen. And uh, so in that length of time we've done uh, our show, and it has changed, but the times have changed. And uh, but the show always tries to keep up with uh, fads that, that people respond to. When, to, when this break dancing was big, we had break dancers. Uh, we've had everything kind of following the, the uh, what, it, what, what it was. So I think it has changed a great deal, and I kind of really enjoyed it, the early days, which was so simple to do. I would memorize the script in three rehearsals, which we were doing just before we did the scene. If we do the rehearsal, would only take a few minutes, and uh, so we. But now it's much more elaborate and you know, evolved because we often have a, a scenes that's going to be enhanced with computer-generated clouds or flashes or whatever the script requires. So we have to kind of stop with that stuff all the time. So it's uh, it just doesn't flow as quickly. It's sort of like watching football. It's, it's only eight seconds last left in the game, but it may take 20 minutes. So it's sort of like that. Cool.